So today I'm going to show you guys how to access the secret boss fight of Meteor Mother of Fingers and this is not going to be an hour long tutorial. This is going to be straight easy to the point with the prerequisite that you have most of the map open and available some key areas. If you don't have much of the map open then I recommend coming back later to this video but assuming you have that we're going to start here at the Cathedral Manus of Meteor and then we're going to go all the way to the back and talk to Ymir who's over on the throne. After speaking to him and exhausting his dialogue you should be given a ruins map. Now, in order to get to the ruins again assuming you have most of the map available you can either get there going from this particular site of grace in this cave or you can get there from the cerulean coast now i'm going to put a little image on screen to show you routes if you don't have a certain site of grace open either way you get there from the cerulean coast or what have you you want to go from the finger ruins of rio right here and then from the site of grace i'm going to show you the exact route you'll want to take in order to get to the bottom of this this area is a little bit tricky because there are certain enemies with this like pink orb attack these can knock you off your horse and stun lock you leading up for a follow-up attack from these snakes and they're pretty annoying so uh the goal is to you know jump down here and we're going to go towards these fingers are converging and this is going to be your first like sound hanging bell not only is this part of the quest that will be advanced here but you're also going to get a very good talisman that i very much enjoy and this is the crimson seed talisman plus one this essentially functions like a sacred tier very good would highly recommend it but go ahead and activate this and then once this is done you've completed this step and then we're going to go ahead and get our reward and then go back to the church okay so once you've done that step head back to the cathedral once again and we're going to go all the way to the back of the church and speak with him on his throne once more once again he's going to give you another ruins map this time a different one now i will recommend from here you don't have to exhaust his dialogue although you can i do recommend if you care about it go ahead and buy his sorcery while he's here right now because after this step he will be gone and you will miss the opportunity to grab these uh if you don't do it here so may as well pick him up they're not too expensive and uh, once you've done that we're going to now head over to bonnie village located in the middle of the map because we need to get a certain gesture luckily it's pretty easy starting from this side of grace we're just going to go on to this mountain and hug the left side of the wall there is a tiny gap here that you'll need to be mindful of and make sure that you jump it otherwise you'll probably have to go back to the grace and restart but we're just going to go forward and then eventually you will come across a tree with a certain item and this is actually the item we need that will allow us to access a secret door and so here's the oh mother gesture just go ahead and pick that up and make sure you equip it to your character from the inventory slot and then from here make sure you have access to the black keep again if you've not progressed to this part of the game i wouldn't recommend doing this at this point you need to have access to shadow keep black gate site of grace and then we're going to go ahead and teleport here once we're in this room once again with the oh mother uh gesture equipped we're going to head to the back where this uh, america statue is assuming you've already gotten the scatter tree fragment and then we're going to go ahead and gesture in front of this statue this very much reminds me of dark souls 3 with arch dragon peak where you need to do a certain gesture in order to unlock a secret area very much the same idea here you're just going to hit this gesture and then this door will move out of the way for you technically this is not a brand new area of the map it's just a section of it that you otherwise don't really have access to but it may as well be a brand new playable section with how big it is so we're going to come out here to you know the scatu base uh sort of like area here and then there'll be a site of grace on your left you can go ahead and pick up now this section is pretty easy as far as where you need to go but make sure you go ahead and hit this from this site of grace you can actually see where the ruins are on your map and we're going to take this trail all the way down to the next site of grace funnily enough from software thought it would be a hilarious joke to put another double tree sentinel on this path i mean i think we've had enough of that in the capital but uh, i'm not even going to bother to fight them in this video don't worry about them for now you can go back for them later but just go ahead and cross this bridge hit this next site of grace and then from here we're just going to head down the base of the mountain uh it's pretty simple and straightforward it'll get increasingly foggy as you go down but you can mark it on your map if you want to essentially you just need to get to the bottom of the hill it's very similar to the first set of ruins that we got to and the only difference is here it feels like the enemies are maybe a bit more aggressive i mean i was getting stun locked to death uh trying to get down this mountain uh, and it might take you a little while honestly it's not too lethal as long as you don't get hit by these things but it's just super annoying uh but i'm going to get down and you can see where the con the fingers converge right here and you will also be giving another talisman as a reward however this one is the equivalent for your fp flask it's the cerulean uh badge essentially so that one's pretty good as well and so once you've gotten that one that is that step complete and you have another talisman under your belt and the second sound hanging bell has been rung now from here once again take yourself back to the cathedral and speak to Ymir once more this time he'll be 
holding a big hand in his arms. It's, it's, uh, it's something. Um, but go ahead and speak to him and exhaust his dialogue. And this is your last and final chance to buy his sorcery. So go ahead and make sure you collect those if you really care about that. Exhaust his dialogue. And before you leave here, make sure you speak to one more person over here on the left pillar. Her name is Johan. She'll give you a little bit more lore about what's going on in the entire situation. And after you're done speaking with her, you actually don't need to go anywhere else. There's no more ruins we have to go chase down exactly. All we have to do is go ahead and reload the grace that we're already in. So go ahead and reload the cathedral once more. And upon doing that, Ymir should be gone and the throne should be empty. You can go up to it and interact with it and examine, and you should be able to push it out of the way. And, you know, revealing this really cool animation of an entire underfloor under this like giant thing. Now, if you want an extra little surprise, go ahead and interact with the throne again after it's been moved, but I'll let you experience that. And then go ahead and drop down the ladder here. And once you get to this area, you are going to have to fight an NPC along the pathway. You will be stopped in your tracks, but upon defeating this invader, you should have full access to this every single time. And uh, all you have to do is simply walk to the edge of this where you can see the third and final sound hanging bell. From this point, that is the access to the boss. I won't spoil it for you. I'll let you experience it for yourself. But anyways, this is the most straightforward guide I could make to access this secret boss fight. I hope this did help. If it did, drop a like on the video and consider subscribing for more Elden Ring guides, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.